Hola mis amores, como están? I'm doing fine, thank you for asking. Today's video is going to be on this look right here. We're using like three glitters. We're doing the liner, the lashes, and a nice lip. So I hope you guys enjoy. Give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, follow me on IG at Louisa Levy. Follow, comment, show love. I'll show it back. Let's be a big happy family and welcome to the Lovey family. Face is primed already and prepped. So going into the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette, I'm going to go into the shade Foxy and put it all over the lid. And then onto T's, onto the outer V and crease of the eye. Going into Snake Bite, I'm going to go onto the outer V and crease to just deepen up the eye look. I'm going into the shade Busted and just put it on the outer V to create a darker, sharper look. I'm going to go into Chopper as the base of my glitter. And then after that, I'm going to go into the L'Oreal pigment in number 812 because I cannot pronounce that name and I do not want to butcher it. Point is, I'm going to wing out the pigment. Using the NYX Ultra Pearl Mania in yellow, I'm going to just go on the center of the eyelid, just focusing on the center. And then on top of that, I'm going to go into Glitterally by Too Faced, their glitter, and just go over the yellow on the center of the eyelid because we want the drama to be on the center of the eyelid. We're going to go back into teeth to refresh it, the crease because of the glitter we applied before. You don't need Victoria's Secret wings to fly. You can just create your own wings with eyeliner. Using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette, my favorite brand besides Colourpop, we're going to go into these two shades that are close, like really close to my skin tone. And I'm going to apply them on the areas that have discoloration in order for when I put the foundation, it makes me look even more flawless like an angel. It's baking time, but are we going to bake the face, but not like a cake? Brow time. So using the Anastasia Brow Pomade in medium brown, I'm doing lines, then connect to them. Then with a detail brush, I'm going to carve them out. Then into the next brow gel to tame the brows, because they be getting crazy sometimes. So I'm going to contour my cheekbones, the neck, don't forget the neck, <laughs> the forehead and size of the forehead to add color to my pale face and my DK jawline. You don't have to do that, but it works for me and so far I like this method. If you a lovey family member, which you all are, y'all already know this step. Y'all already know that this is my happy place, color pop. Highlight and flexitarian. I don't know why I smile when I do the highlight. I don't know why. It just brings happiness. So I do the tear duct, the brow bone, and the cheekbones. i 
Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the support and love. For subscribing and liking and commenting nice things. Thank you so much. I appreciate it and I love you all.